Well, I think it's a, a big scam. I think that the pharmaceutical companies are, are just the biggest ripoff, and they should be ashamed of themselves. And I think that uh, insurance companies are just screwing people left and right. right. Well, my, my name is Kathy Hund, and I am a mom of a six and a seven-year-old, and my six-year-old son has autism. And um, in the beginning, initially, what we did to get money was we sold everything. You know, we had, you know, a house full of furniture, you know, the armoires and the this and the that, and all that stuff went. The, the car, the new hybrid that we had, all that stuff went. And the next thing that happened was we cashed in all the 401k stuff that we had, any retirement money um, that we had was cashed in. And um, then we um, decided last summer to sell the house. That, uh, well, I guess, I guess I should go back a couple years before that. Our medical bills at that point had eachied up, and we had so many of them, we declared bankruptcy. So we, we did declare bankruptcy and kept our house, um, and we had really nothing left of value at that point other than our house. And, um, and then we kind of eked along, and, um, and last summer we decided to sell the house because we had kind of dug ourselves down again financially and we needed the money from the house sale to um, pay off all the bills that we had going on. Yeah, we, we have insurance um, with a ridiculous deductible and um, a, ri a ridiculous monthly deductible, a ridiculous annual deductible, and then they usually only cover about 60%, and when it comes to all of his biomedical, they cover none. Nothing is covered. So we sold the house, and we were really lucky. We actually did it right before the bottom of the market dropped out here. <laughs> and, um, and then we moved into this rental that we're in right now. And sadly, uh, less than a year later, our bill is starting to add up again. And so now we're kind of like, we've gone through the possessions, the retirement money, the bankruptcy, the house funds. But for us at six and a half, you know, we, we see our child who has gone from being a really normal, typical child to being severely impacted to now being moderately to mildly impacted. And the investment that we feel like we're making in him now will hopefully enable him to have an independent future later on. And that's all that we care about, you know, nothing else matters. So lots of people have fancy vacations or nice cars and we have a son that's on his way to hopefully hopefully living an independent, you know, life. That's all we want for him. And um, I, I think the whole medical field needs to be shaken out and redone. I really do. Um, I don't have the answer on how to do that. Um, I'm hoping that when our new president comes in that uh, he will um, really help with all that. And I'm scared if we don't get a new president in. If we get the same old president in, I'm really scared for this country.